Select kitchen items for Living Local, provided by The Rachel Ray Show. Well, welcome back. With the winter weather arriving over the next few days, all I can think about is comfort food, Josh. We're going to need a lot of it over the next week. For sure. So today we're putting a spin on a classic that everyone loves, chicken pot pie soup. That's, That's my favorite. Today. Really? You didn't even know that and you just whipped up this idea. Well, got to take care of my Josh. So here's what you're going to need for this recipe. You need a pound, maybe two pounds of chicken breast, boneless, skinless, I've cut them up already. Um, two cans of cream of chicken soup condensed, about a cup and a half of celery, one onion, um, let's see, a bag of frozen mixed veggies, whatever kind you like, but I like the peas and carrots and good stuff. And then our seasonings, which we've already put together. We've got a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of pepper, salt, and then I went ahead and added a little Italian seasoning. I like all those things. As well. I can smell the onion. Oh yeah? That's what I There's smell. There's a lot going on? Yes. Okay, so, oh, and you also need chicken broth. Ha, that's important Kind too. of important, right? <laughs> that might be a big deal. So I'm going to start by putting a little olive oil in the bottom of the crock pot so nothing sticks. You know me, I like my garlic olive oil. Some people like to use the liners in there. Some people do. Not so much, you? No, I, I, I can't put my finger on it. It I just can't. doesn't seem right to I me. I can't do it either. Okay, well, I'm glad we're in good company there. So I'm going to spread the olive oil out just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and dump the celery. If you want to pass me the onions. Sure thing. They are very fragrant. I will I was say thinking, that. Get those away from me. I love onions. Really? It's a little, a little strong right now. Oh, okay. See, I'm not a big raw onion fan. I'll eat them if they're cooked, but I don't like them in salads or anything like that. It's you gonna need the me. veggies here? I am gonna need the veggies. Can Put you get myself those? to use. Yes. You know how it is. You're gonna eat, you gotta work. It's the way we look at it around <laughs> here. So while you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and open these cans of cream of chicken soup. Oh wow, you're on top of it. Thanks, Josh. Trying. Got to earn the meal here. Exactly. So we're gonna put all of this together. This is a really good winter weather snack. An easy meal because you can just dump everything in the crock pot. We like that. Are you a big crock pot user? I used to be, not so much. I got the Instant Pot, so I'm oh, kind of using that a now. little bit more, but probably a good idea to actually wind up using the crock pot over the next week. Yeah, you Soups know. Soups are so easy to do. I've never, Soups, never really tried chili, it. Soups, uh, chili, pot roast, pork chops. You can do everything in a crock pot. You're going to have to teach me how to use the Instant Pot, though. That's going to be like our next crash That's course the greatest. thing. You just got an air fryer. How's that working? I love it. Really good at making chicken nuggets at this did point Did you do wings? Time. We yes. did wings on the show, but did you take it home and actually yes, do wings? Yes, we did okay. wings. And then um, my husband made fish and veggies in there. Very nice. Yeah. I w you know, I'm not a big fish person, but he really enjoyed it. So we've got both of our cans of cream of chicken soup. We're going to go ahead and dump the veggies in there. And it's going to be really thick. And if you want to measure me out a cup of chicken broth, sure. Josh. Does it matter what vegetables you use or just? No, just whatever you like best. If you want traditional veggies or if you want like some zucchini or anything in there, you can do fun stuff with it. So while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and dump the chicken breasts in here. Spread them out a little bit. We talked about how much we love the texture of raw chicken. I noticed you didn't put them in first. A lot of people put the chicken in no. first. Not this time. So this time you want to actually just kind of um, pop them up on top because halfway through cooking this, you are gonna pull the chicken breast out and you're gonna shred them with a fork. Okay. And then stick them back in and mix it all together. That would make sense. So, we're gonna to toss our seasoning in there. Lots of paprika, lots of good stuff. I did double check to make sure that it is, in fact, paprika and not cayenne. Have you made that mistake? We're not going to talk about that. Times. Anyway, one really? thing, anyway. Story time. You no, know, we don't have time for that. You're going to put the <laughs> crock pot on low for about six to eight hours. Like I said, when there's maybe an hour or so left, you are going to go ahead and pull the chicken out and shred it and then dump it back in and mix it all together. And then you can add some biscuits in there and have like your own little version of chicken pot pie. Simple, and I believe that's a tease ahead to tomorrow, so yes. is it not? Tomorrow we are going to make some biscuits, and we will top them off there, but tomorrow we're going to do like brunch for Valentine's Day. We need it. Everybody needs a little comfort food it's in the upcoming days. Exciting. Yeah. So check it out, arclatexhomepage.com, under Loving Living Local. That's where you can find the recipe and other great recipes. Stick around. When we come back, more Loving Living Local just for you.